I really love being in the gallery. People are coming in and talking to them. They say, what are you doing? What are you working on? And they ask questions in ways that I haven't framed them myself. So it does help my research in, in a certain way. It helps my students because they get excited again when they see everybody else being excited about their work. I enjoy the interaction and kind of sharing, I suppose, my enjoyment and my enthusiasm. It's ended up being a, a really great experience. I didn't really know what I wanted to do and I came to work in the science gallery as a mediator and it just sparked off the, the love of science again and made me remember why I'd started, why I'd done it in the first place. I think what's nice about the science gallery is that it can inspire people. So very often as a mediator you see people walk in and, and maybe they wouldn't be interested or they wouldn't understand and they leave with this genuine feeling of inspiration. They really feel like what you've told them is important and it's something that they'll remember for the rest of their lives, I think. invited 40 students from all over the country to come in and actually sit down together with education stakeholders and to think about how they would like their school to look like in the 21st century, to imagine if they could actually design their curriculum, what would it look like, what systems do they want to have in place for learning. Like I find sitting in the group in there just discussing it, it makes it a lot easier, it makes you find out a lot more than you think you did. Just meeting everyone and seeing this place, it's really, yeah, it's inspiring really to be honest. Every place needs a home. Uh, so you know, GAA has Pro Park, and, and you know, football has Aviva, and this kind of thing. So Robotics Club needed a home, and we have this. Our home is the Science Gallery. And people can come in from all sorts of backgrounds. So it's not only science people; it's artsy people, creative people of all kinds. They come to one room and you just make things for two hours. And to be honest, the Science Gallery has kind of changed my life in a strange kind of way because it really allowed me to engage with the general public and we ran an experiment here all through Infectious. Got loads of samples off the Irish population and examined their immune systems in great detail. That was a great thrill. I think nobody else in the world had been able to do that. The future Science Gallery, I don't know what it is and that's part of the excitement. I think one of the great things about Science Gallery is how unpredictable it is and how every time succeed in surprising me with the way you do things. So I don't know what it is and I'm happy that way. As I said, to me the Science Gallery is the most exciting development in Trinity, maybe even in Ireland for science, because uh, it brings together all these interesting people. It's got a crossover between the arts and the sciences, which is wonderfully thrilling really. And I can see it just going from strength to strength.